Hey, what's up, y'all? I just posted a menu on a post regarding my new wraps. So I'm going to do a little demonstration. This has nothing to do with any of this here. Although I'll say they are like crack and more addictive than sushi. And I'm, I'm slimming down, trimming up some of that stuff right there. Because I'm not eating out at restaurants anymore. So I have control of what's going in my food. And I'm keeping the calories down and I'm enjoying it. I'm living off these. And I decided this is so damn delicious. Why not turn it into a business? So listen, pay attention. I know this is hard to not pay attention to any of this going on right here. But uh, listen, you got to pay attention to these wraps. That's, that's what's going on. So we've got a spinach flavored wrap right here. So what we're going to do is a... I would say a little more than a dab of mayo, but not a crazy amount of mayo. And this not only is great for taste, and keep in mind, even with the, I know I just said it, keeping the calories down, even with putting a little mayo, it's still better than all the grease at the restaurants, okay? And I find that the, the amount of mayo helps the wrap stick when I fold it. It, it helps the, the folding process and keeping it all together, so... We're gonna do something like this here. We're just getting it all around the wrap here. So. Alright, so I've got like a layer of mayo, not like a sickening amount, but just enough. It'll help the folding process after. Then we're going to take some Havarti slices. Havarti, good cheese, okay? Just happened to be a sale at Publix. It was like two, two for five dollars, so I happened to pick up this brand. It, it really doesn't matter what brand. Cracker Barrel will be fine for today. I got a good deal on these, okay? So, a piece of Havarti cheese, and then we're going to tear it like that and place it. Let me just show you this. All right, so, can you see that? All right, so that's what we got so far there. Right, then for this one we're doing a honey ham wrap okay so we're gonna take not a crazy amount I know some of you like to stack up your meat that's actually too much all right so here we'll take that and we're gonna place it along I'm gonna show you in a minute what it, what it looks like after this process so two pieces like that on top of the cheese we'll place this back in here so you got something like that going on so far. All right, so we got the spinach flavored wrap, a little small layer of mayonnaise, then the Havarti cheese split into two pieces placed onto the, the uh, wrap, then layered on top of the cheese. We've got the honey ham. All right, and now here's, I gotta get something else. So we got the bag of shredded lettuce, all right? Well, shredded lettuce. I'm gonna take, not a crazy amount, something like that. We're gonna place it along top the ham, like that. So now we got that going on. So that's what we got. We got the spinach, the mayo, the cheese, the ham, the lettuce. So we're up to that so far. Listen, I know it's hard to take your eyes off this, but we're doing wraps right now. Not, not like spitting wraps, but just like kitchen wraps. So go figure, the, man, the rapping man is making wraps. What does this world come to? So now we got diced jalapeno peppers. All right, so we're gonna take a fork like this. I'm going to scoop it out. We're just going to layer it on top of the lettuce. 
two forkfuls. So I'm going to show you that now. So now we got the spinach, the mayo, the cheese, the ham, the lettuce, and the diced jalapenos. So that's where we're at with that so far. Hang tight. Banana peppers. What? <laughs> what? Banana peppers. You like them on your subs? Why wouldn't you want them on your wraps? Hello, how are you? It's an Adele song. <laughs> All right, so we layer the banana peppers on top like that, and we give you a look at it. All right, the spinach, the mayo, the cheese, the ham, the lettuce, the jala diced jalapenos and the banana peppers. So that's where we're at with that. <laughs> Bryce, your man tank, except it's Jason Lip on this channel. All right, so that's where we're at with that. Every cook's gotta keep a clean kitchen. So we're gonna put the cap back on the jalapenos. We'll put the cap back on the banana peppers. And a boom, roasted red peppers. Who doesn't want some of that? Roasted red peppers on their wrap. So we're gonna take the fork, clean off those diced jalapenos. All right, and we're gonna get a little roasted red pepper action. All right, what do you know about this? On top of the banana peppers. So this thing's layering up real nice right now. So we got the spinach, wrap flavored wrap. We got the mayo for easy folding so it sticks nice. The cheese, the ham, the lettuce, the diced jalapenos, the banana peppers, and the roasted red peppers. But wait, <laughs> I got secret ingredients for days. How you think I got some of that right there? Boom! Bam! Tank lit. Jason lit. All right. We got the tzatziki. I got all different kind of vendors for tzatziki, but this is what we're working with today. Is that Athenos, that Greek yogurt, tzatziki dressing, and dip. Some of that. Look at that. Watch this. We're not scoop this. You, you could just eat this out of the spoon. This shit is nice. Look at this. So we're going to layer the tzatziki all over all those great ingredients that we just showed you. Why not? Why not two generous spoonfuls? I mean, one would have been enough, but why not do it lovely like that? So, we got that. Now pay attention to the folding process. I, I gotta use my hands. I wish I had someone to like hold the camera up for me to show you the folding process. But just, it's something like this. You see the hands there? All right, I take each side, but I don't like, crazily like fold it just like a little bit on the sides you want to keep it a, like a long wrap and then we go up this way all right and then we turn it over and like that now let me show you what i'm working with so now we got that everything i showed you all those crazy ingredients it is now looking like this at this point okay so that's where we're at but you want it Hovan style, so you feel like you're at the Mediterranean at the Oviedo Mall. Why? Every good cook gotta wash his hands, so we do a little hand washing. Listen, girlfriend, I'm in the kitchen right now. <laughs> Bryce, the girlfriend's trying to interrupt me while I'm cooking. What? She don't know about this. Okay, so you see, before it was folded, now you see it folded, but now we gotta cut it, like on some cut it type stuff. Make it look like a hoe van. So we got to press it down a little bit. And this is tricky because you don't want the wrap as you're turning it into like hoe van style. You don't want it to fall apart. So the cutting process is important. Otherwise, you just wasted your time. And trust me, practice. Keep that pimp hand. <laughs> Boom. Pimp hand with the knife. Uh, a lot of love in this kitchen. You got you got to treat your food with love, Bryce. You got to love on your food. Because the more love you put, it actually tastes better when you love on it. So listen. So you got to like cut into it just so you know the knife is like into the wrap. And then you push down like a firm like that. And then separate 
otherwise it falls apart, like kind of like, like that. Let me show you what just happened here. So, so this is what we got so far. I could have cut better than that. That's just one. You see, it's turning into a whole van a little bit. A little bit. Let's see if I do the next cut a little better. So again, you got to cut into it so you know the knife is like in. So that when you do the press down with the knife, it doesn't fall apart on you. Boom! Like that. See, it's falling apart on me already. See? I got carried away. So, so listen. I got carried away, but I'm still going to show you what we're working with. Some of the ingredients have fallen out of this piece, but whatever. So that's what we got so far. Ingredients have fallen out, but okay. Maybe you ain't going to buy them from me. I'm still going to eat this. So we'll do the next cut. Let's see, cut into it. Maybe less talk and more cutting. And bam. Firm. With the knife. Like, like that. And now we'll, this is what we got so far. Some of that. Listen, I'm learning as I go along here. I didn't say I was doing this for a long time. When have you seen Tank Lip do a cooking show? You go to bed. You're back for two hours and you're already talking shit. All right, here we go. Listen, she, the girlfriend eats my wraps. So they, if she eats them, they must be good. You don't eat my wraps? What, they're fucking disgusting? What, do you make your own? Ooh, this one cut nicely. Look at this one, guys. Look what we got so far. Nice whole van style. And we ain't even done yet. All right. So, hang on. And then, get this one. The knife is in and you firmly down like that. That's just a fork. Don't worry, guys. That's just a fork. All right. Hang on. So, now we got one, two, three, four, five. I could leave this last piece alone and just have it as like, you know when you have the Japanese and you get like a tempura dish with the sushi, like tempura, and they got like all the small pieces and like that end fried piece they keep as like the big shrimp tail or something. I could keep it like that. I could keep it like that, look. Small, 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 and then like the big sh uh, tempura tail. But fuck it, I'm going to cut it, right? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I guess we're going for seven pieces here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. People, some people, are, Bryce is watching it right now. Bryce is my homeboy. That's my dude right there. What up, Bryce? The girlfriend says what's up. Actually, that one cut nice. So look what I got here. All right. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Who doesn't want to buy that for five bucks? Who doesn't want to buy that for five bucks? I do caterings too. Big orders. I'll work on the cutting. Your boy Tank Lip. Peace. Bow.